The levy is gone and there's no one here to help you now. Hi, I'm John McCann from Survival Resources. I want to do a quick video today showing you a new product we've developed called the Fire Blowing Tube. I did a video a couple years ago on how to build one of these using an old collapsible antenna with some modifications and a lot of people have contacted us and said, John, why don't you just build one and sell it? Well, it's taken us a couple years in order to uh, develop the collapsible tube just like we wanted it and have someone do that for us. So we've finally been able to get that manufactured and the product is now available for sale. This is what it looks like. It's simply a two foot piece of flexible hosing and there's a collapsible stainless steel tube at the end which can be pulled out. As you all know there's a fire triangle and as part of fire we need fuel, we need heat, and we need oxygen. One of the hardest things to keep into a fire sometimes is the oxygen. Now I remember when I was a young lad my dad used to fan the fire with his hat and that used to put oxygen into it and it used to get the fire to come back to life. Uh, the problem with that was is that oftentimes it would blow ashes all over the place and everybody would suffer because of it. So what I did even at a young age I used to have a piece of copper tubing I don't know about a foot and a half long and I put a piece of flexible hose on that uh, got it from the garage or something, some type of brake line or something or gas line and what I did with that is I usually stick the tube down into the fire and blow. The problem with it eventually was the fact that it was long and it just wouldn't fit into my pack. So one day I was looking at a no transistor radio and I noticed that the antenna collapses on it and it was broken anyway so I took the antenna off it and I had to get the solid piece out of the end and I was able to use that to for the same process of blowing oxygen into the fire. However, when I was done, it folded up nice and small and you could carry it in your pack. Now I'm gonna show you various ways you can use this. One of them is to be able to keep a fire going. Another one is to bring a fire back to life. And the third one would be, oftentimes you see people who do different types of fire starting, such as a hand drill, a bow drill, uh, flint and steel. What you have to do is place the ember or your char cloth into the nest and then you hold it up and you blow it in the fire. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the three of these so you can see just how valuable this little tool is. Okay, as you can see we have a small fire going here. It's already starting to burn out a little bit. So the advantage of the fire blowing tube is you can place the tip near the bottom of the fire. You don't have to put it in the fire, just near the bottom of the fire and then you can sit in an upright position you can place more fuel on here and allows you to bring that fire back to life Handy little device for something that's very small and you can just carry it in your pocket or in your pack or something like that. Okay, as I mentioned before, another way you can use this blowing tube is when you're doing some type of a friction fire or a flint and steel fire. As you know, you normally build some type of a nest like this and you get it nice, almost like a little bird's nest. Once you get your coal or once you get your char cloth sparked, what you do is you put it in the nest. Now you often see the people that they will hold this up. The reason for holding this up is to keep the smoke out of your face and you've got to hold it up and at the same time try to blow into this thing. With the fire blowing tube what I do is I take the nest and I set it where I want to start my fire. Okay what I have now is I have a piece of flint and some char cloth. I'm going to strike this I'm going to get an ember, which I already have, and I'm going to put that right down in my nest, and then we're going to blow on it from up here instead of bringing it up to your face.
as you can see, the advantage of this is you don't have to bring it up and then try to avoid the smoke from your face. You can use the blowing tube to get down in there and you can position yourself around here so that you don't have to be directly in it. Now, right now, once you get this nest going, you can already start putting your uh, kindling on it and then start putting some fuel on it once you get a little bit of coals. As another example I'd like to show you, sometimes you get up in the morning, you've had a hardwood fire going all night, and you get up in the morning and you can fish through the fire and sometimes you can find some small coals. If you've got a good tinder, i got some curly birch here. What you can do is put that on the coals and use your fire blowing tube. to bring the fire back to life. As you can see, now you have fire. Now you have your wood all stacked up somewhere when you start laying it on there, or you build yourself your teepee, or whatever your fire lay is. This video really isn't about a fire lay, but as you can see, from just a leftover coal, you can bring the fire back to life. Anyway, this is the fire blowing tube by Survival Resources. This is what it looks like packaged. It comes in this little bag, which you tear off the top, and it gives you a zip closure bag to store this in when you're, when you're not using it or to carry it in your pack or whatever. You don't need the bag, but it's a nice handy item to have to, to keep your pack clean or if you're carrying it with some other stuff you can put it back into this zip bag and it really keeps your other gear clean. Myself, I just normally carry it in a, a shirt pocket or one of my fire kits. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining us. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video showing how to use our fire blowing tube. As always, we thank everyone who supports us, uh, buys our products. You can buy this at survival resources or from one of our dealers uh, we can be found at survivalresources.com i thank you all again and join us next time around